Well, good morning, folks. It's about you know, 2 30 in the morning. I laid down pretty early last night. So I'm up making coffee and ramen. I only got a couple miles of Sizzles Crossing. I've got a couple friends that are gonna are under the bridge tonight. They said they were gonna get there late and then hike on a little further. Uh they decided not to. In other words, I would have gone ahead and done the last couple miles and met up with them for a little while before I head into Julian, but I found out they're there, so I'm going to go wake their asses up here in a few minutes. Um, get out of town here by four. I mean, I'm going to relax. I mean, I already got a couple miles to get down there. It'll probably take me an hour and a half. So I'm going to sit here and have my coffee and a little ramen. And then uh, bust down camp. It's a beautiful morning. I, this camp spot couldn't have been any better. All the rocks had the heat in them all day last night. Day so last night I could have slept without anything on. Without my, I didn't wear a beanie. I didn't wear uh, gloves. Didn't wear, you know, most anything. Um, Last few nights it's been chilly and windy, but it was beautiful up here. So, like I said, we're going to have our coffee and our ramen. And uh, then we're going to get on down this little bit of hill. I only got a couple miles, and I think I got a, uh, I got a little bit of elevation drop. I don't know, 1,500 feet. I got to look at the, the map, but it's not going to be bad. Easy little morning. Get in, resupply. Uh, get a new power bank so I have a little more video power or battery power. But uh, okay, we're gonna start off our morning. I hope you guys have one too. Bye bye. Hey folks, today is the uh, first Nero. I just, uh, yesterday I ended up right before Scissors Crossings. Didn't go down to the bridge because I thought my friends had already left. I went down there early this morning and they were still there. So I got to see them. Uh, I plan to catch up the next day or two with them. Uh, today I'm in the lovely town of Julian taking my Nero. And this is the hotel I'm staying at. Uh, lovely people. Uh, called the number. She was out of town, but another family member came right over. I was in the shower. She did my laundry for me. Lovely people. Uh, very nice hotel room. I'll show you the inside later on. But uh, great people. She took care of my laundry. I was in the shower. Couldn't ask for anything else. Um, this is the town. Ain't much to it. It's small. You know. But... So far, the people have been extremely friendly, and can't say enough. They they are so happy to have us here, and I'll show you a grocery store I went to a little while. Um, prices are reasonable. You know, the poor guy. Uh, you know, this is this is the time of year for their business, and he said, you know, normally he's through thousands of cases of stuff, and right now he's like through a hundred, and you know, it really stinks for these little towns to get such a burden from this coronavirus but you know we got to do what we got to do but you know wearing your mask when you go into place you know everybody's doing it no big deal so uh i'm gonna show you a little more around town here in a few minutes i got a couple more things to resupply and uh i'll talk to you again in a few Hey folks, here we are outside the Julian Market in Delhi. As you can see, they have a big PCT hiker sign out there. Those people are amazing. Um, they're out of bandanas. I lost mine. It was ripped up. The girl gave me one of her own. She gave me a free little slice of lasagna for lunch. The, uh, the gentleman inside hooked me up with a couple free uh, bags so I didn't have to buy a whole box of uh, quart sandwich bag type things to put my things together in really really nice people and that was the place i was telling you about that you know normally they got thousands of cases of stuff gone 
currently like a hundred. So you know, little like I said, little towns help them out. And like, but I tell you, these people are extremely nice, wonderful, and friendly. So if you come to Julian, make sure you uh, stop here and give them some love. Okay, we'll show you that room when I get back later on. Okay, folks, so here's the room in that hotel. It's got a fireplace. Obviously, it's hiker trash explosion. Um, would look much better if I didn't have my stuff, you know, scattered all throughout the place. Uh, we got a resupply. We got some ramen, a bunch of uh, tuna creations. Some pasta nora salads, um, bars, sunscreen, coffee, lots of bars, tortillas for the tuna, lots of candy, an apple for the morning. Um, but yeah, it's a nice hotel room. I'm kind of not trying to step on anything. So you have your own living room here. And then you go in through, and it would have looked better before I took all the fancy pillows off but you got your nice bed in the bedroom you got a nice little vanity here a nice little sitting area over there for the ladies to work their magic and then of course uh, your own private little bath you know with your normal clawfoot tub there very nice hot shower I took a very long one but yeah, very nice hotel room uh, for just over a hundred bucks, and you know anywhere you can get a nice hotel room this size for a hundred dollars. I mean, fireplace and everything in here—that's pretty darn nice. So, like I said, the people in Julian have been really, really nice. It's been really a pleasure so far to be here, and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my stay. I'm going to get some dinner. Like I said, the uh, young lady at the Julian supermarket gave me a uh, free thing of lasagna, and it was excellent. Thank you very much to her. And, uh, okay, so that's the room. Good evening, folks. So... It's the end of my day eight Nero. Uh, I walked in a couple, three and a half miles, four miles into Scissors Crossing this morning. Um, got a hitch. First, first person that came by, very lovely gentleman, drove me right to Julian, right in front of the hotel I'm staying in. Uh, very, lo very lovely man. Thank you very much if you happen to see this, sir. Greatly appreciated. Uh, just got, went out and had some... Uh, Mexican uh, taco pia, uh, salad I had uh, brought back here. Very good food. Uh, the cider mill across the street also gave us uh, some free goodies today. Got some boysenberry cider and a thing of chocolate covered pretzels. Again, everybody here in Julian has been wonderful. Everybody along the entire PCT has been wonderful. So it's just been an amazing experience and I I, I only know it can get better. It's it, the people here are so amazing. Uh, the hike has been amazing. The scenery, the weather. Uh, not a lot of hikers, obviously, on trail, but the ones that are out here are also very nice, good people. Um, everybody's social distancing. We come into town. We're wearing our face masks. Uh, at least a bandana, something over your face and mouth. So. We're doing everything we can, just like everybody else out there. And it's it's been a wonderful experience, I can't say enough. So I'm going to get ready to finish up packing here. I'm almost done. And then get up uh, before the sun rises, try to get a hitch back to Scissors Crossing, and start the hike. Uh, tomorrow we start out with about a almost a 15-mile water carry, with a little bit of, bit of a climb on a Scissors Crossing. It's going to be warm tomorrow, about 80 degrees, and it's summertime, so we're going to be getting into more of the desert. Water's getting more and more scarce, so something uh, you have to take into effect. Pack's good and heavy again with, again, probably a 10-day resupply. I'm ready to go. Uh, can't wait to get back out there tomorrow. 
Uh, my new battery backup power supplies will be uh, sent for me from the wonderful people at Two Foot Adventures. They're closed, but I called the lady today and she was gracious enough to put them on the website. I ordered them and she uh, shipped them out today for me. So they'll be uh, at the uh, post office I need them at when I get there. Um, again, everybody has just been wonderful. And it's amazing to be out here. Can't say it enough. So I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and we'll see you soon.